need to have the credibility in a streetwear and then have the credibility in a ready to wear and a little bit of high fashion. With my partner Gilda, we've been doing this brand since over 10 years and then I think we have kind of achieved certain level of credibility in the music industry as well. I grew up in Paris and for us what is our lifestyle is really the music and the clothing and you know coffee shop we open because I'm addicted to coffee, I can't live without coffee. New York somehow it's inspired me a lot, probably because of the older artists and then all the you know street culture. It's you know New York City it's about style. I spent a lot of time in Tokyo and uh, we just opened this, the first store in Hong Kong. Asian cities in general it start to influence the market. So of course my my mind as well it's always you know I can't ignore the fact of the you know like. A, Koreans are inspiring a lot of the market these days in the fashion. I didn't study fashion, I didn't study art business, so I didn't study economy or, or marketing or anything. You know, the process of working, me and Judah were pretty much organic. So when we feel something, you know, we just put down on the table. Uh, this story, it's, it's basically, yeah, it was global, you know. We just had great dinner and then with friends we were joking around and why we walked us and make a French flag on the shoes and then I was like, yeah, let's make let's change the pole to the hurt. That's why it became Reaper because the idea was to Valentine's Day. It took come out the Valentine's Day for men and for, uh, women to speak up. Turned out it's all to the hurt. Keeping this kind of note and it's basically the start of a certain project to achieve this collection. For the orange color, you know, you might you might Wonder why I choose this so much, but I can't remember why I chose it. <laughs> when I saw the Reba Global collection, I couldn't really see this kind of color, like you know, beef and pop. Uh, coming to the shoes, um, classic. I thought it could be nice to see three different materials get older in different ways. So I hope in three years it's gonna get something interesting coming out because in my mind always it was kind of. This look has to be kind of timeless. So could, we could see that look in the 50s. I hope so we can just see that look in you know, the next 10 years and it still has to be always kind of cool touch.